Proxima Centauri is the nearest star to the Sun, just four and a quarter light years away, but you can't see it without a telescope. That's because it's a red dwarf, a star that's much smaller, cooler and fainter than the Sun, more than 10,000 times fainter. It's part of the Alpha Centauri system, orbiting the two main stars, Alpha Centauri A and B, in a huge orbit that takes it more than half a million years to complete. Proxima has two known planets, Proxima Centauri B and C. The smaller of the two, B, is slightly larger than Earth and orbits within the so-called habitable zone of the star, the region in which water, a key ingredient for life, could remain liquid on its surface. The larger planet C is a super-Earth or mini-Neptune, seven times as massive as Earth in an orbit that's about the same size as that of the orbit of Mars around the Sun. But because Proxima gives off so little heat compared with the Sun, the surface temperature of planet C must be very low, around minus 230 degrees Celsius. Planet C is almost certainly too cold to support life. But what about planet B, which is similar in size to Earth and receives much more light and heat from the central star? One of the problems is that Proxima Centauri, like many red dwarfs, is a flare star that sometimes sends out powerful bursts of radiation across the spectrum, from radio waves to X-rays. These energetic flares might pose a serious threat to life on any nearby planets. In April 2019, the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia was pointed at Proxima Centauri as part of a 10-year project called Breakthrough Listen, the goal of which is to search for radio signals that may have been sent out by intelligent extraterrestrials. In going through about 30 hours of data collected from the direction of Proxima, researchers found a narrowband signal, a single pure tone at a frequency of about 982 megahertz that was picked up on five separate occasions. It showed a regular back and forth shift in frequency due to the Doppler effect, consistent with the possibility that it came from a planet in orbit around a star. The most likely explanation is that the signal is local in origin due to some kind of terrestrial interference. But researchers haven't been able to confirm this, nor has the signal been seen again since. The fact that Proxima Centauri has an Earth-sized planet makes the remote possibility that it came from there intriguing. But we'll have to wait and see. In any event, the nearest star to the Sun, despite being a stellar minnow, is proving to be a far more interesting target for astronomers and astrobiologists than we ever expected.